Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and I'm so glad you could join me. Today is Trinity Sunday and Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there. The lesson are the scripture for this service, Psalms 111 and 112. John chapter 1, verse 1 through 18. And a canticle is 1 Chronicles chapter 9, verse 10 through 13. And the antiphon is from the hymn, Holy, Holy, Holy. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Holy, 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 all the saints adore thee. Though the eye of sinful man my glory may not see, only thou art holy, there is none beside thee, which were and are and evermore shall be. Psalms 111 and 112. Alleluia. I will thank you, my God, with all my heart, in the meeting of the just and in their assembly. Great are your works to be pondered by all who love them. Majestic and glorious your work, whose justice stands firm forever. You make us remember these wonders. You are compassion and love. You give food to those who fear you, keeping your covenant ever in mind, showing mighty works to your people by giving them the land of the nations. Your works are justice and truth. Your precepts are all of them sure, standing firm forever and ever. They are made in uprightness and truth. You have sent deliverance to your people and established your covenant forever. Holy is your name to be feared. To fear you is the first stage of wisdom. All who do so prove themselves wise. Your praise will last forever. Alleluia. Alleluia. Happy are they who fear you, who take delight in your commands. Their descendants shall be powerful on earth. The children of the upright are blessed. Wealth and riches are in their homes. Their justice stands firm forever. They are lights in the darkness for the upright. They are generous, merciful, and just. Good people take pity and lend. They conduct their affairs with honor. The just will never waver. They will be remembered forever. They have no fear of evil news. With firm hearts they trust you. With steadfast hearts they will not fear. They will see the downfall of their foes. Open-handed they give to the poor, and their justice stands firm forever. Their heads will be raised in glory. And the wicked shall see this and be angry, and shall grind their teeth and pine away. The desires of the wicked lead to doom. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Holy, 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 all the saints adore thee. Though the eye of sinful man my glory may not see, only thou art holy, there is none beside thee, which were and are and evermore shall be. The lesson comes from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 1, beginning at verse 1. In the beginning was Logos, and Logos was with God, and Logos was God. He was in the beginning with God, and all things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life. And the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it.
there was a man sent from God, whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light which enlightens everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, and yet the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, to all who believed in his name, he gave the power to become the children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And Logos became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. John testified and cried out, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me ranks ahead of me, because he was before me. From his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. The law indeed was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. It is God the only Son who is close to the Father's heart who has made him known. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness and let your people sing with joy. Give peace in Jerusalem and in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep this nation in your care Guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth and your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us by your Holy Spirit and for all of your intentions. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Blessed are you, God Most High. Alleluia. A canticle from the first book of Chronicles. Blessed are you, God Most High, the God of our ancestor Israel, forever and ever. Yours the greatness, the power, yours the glory, the victory, and the majesty, for all that is in the heavens and on the earth is yours. Yours the kingdom, and you are exalted as head above all. Riches and honor come from you, and you rule over all. In your hand are power and might, and it is in your hand to make great and to give strength to all. And now we give thanks to you and praise your glorious name. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Blessed are you, O God Most High. Alleluia. <laughs> Bless Yahweh, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah.